What's going on everyone? My name's Larry Snow and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your WooCommerce store to your Facebook page. So let's get started. So to get started, the first thing you have to do is to turn on the shop on your Facebook page. And if you don't see it here on the left hand side navigation, these little tabs, you'll have to uh, turn it on uh, through the page settings. So we'll go over to our settings tab, go down to edit page, and scroll down until you see shop. Now, I don't see shop here. So what you have to do is click on add tab. Now you'll see a whole bunch of other tabs that you ordinarily wouldn't see. I don't know why Facebook doesn't list them all out so you don't have to click on uh, add, add more. Uh, but this is the one we want, shop. So we're gonna click on add tab and then we'll click close. Now we have added our shop tab to our left hand pane tab or navigation for our page. Now we have to set the settings. So we're going to go to settings and it says show, show, show shop tab and that is now switched on. Share shop tab. And this is the direct URL to our shop. You cannot edit it. It is, it is to center your page on this case, page name, page handle and then shop. So you can copy that URL if you'd like, but I'm not, and we're just gonna click save. Now we'll go back to our page and make sure that our shop is there. So here it is, that's the navigation over here, and I'm gonna come back and I'll show you how you can adjust those tabs so you can put shop at the top, like we have newsletter at the top. But let's click on shop. And it says, set up your shop section. To add a shop section to your page, please agree to our merchant terms of policies. Always a good thing to read. These important rules cover topics including listing products for sale, deliveries, returns, and disputes, and treatment of user data. So, I will not read off all of the terms and policies to you, but... I would highly recommend that you uh, check those out on your own when you're setting up your shop. I'm going to click agree and I'm going to click continue. Now it says select checkout method. Choose how you want people to buy products from your shop. Check out on Facebook. Set up a secure checkout on Facebook so people can make purchases right from your page. Or you can check out on another website send people to another website to complete their purchases. For now, I'm gonna to check out on another website. I'm gonna click continue. Now it says setting up your shop. What, do you, what currency do you use? Uh, we have US dollars and we'll click save. Okay. Now that our shop is set up, we can start adding products. But we're not going to add products through here. We're not going to upload images and videos and put in a price and put in a link and all that stuff. We're not going to do that here. We're actually going to go over to our store and connect the page and the store together. So in order to connect your store to your Facebook page shop, you need to install an extension, a WooCommerce extension, and it's free, and it's called Facebook for WooCommerce. So you gotta go over to the uh, WooCommerce website, uh, log into your account, and then go to, uh, I think it's under extensions, and then uh, download that plugin for free. And then to install it on WordPress, you would do that with any plugin. You would go over to you, your plugins tab, and click on add new, and then upload plugin, and then add in the zip file, and let it, uh, WordPress install it for you. Once you've installed the extension slash plugin to find the settings for that, it's under integration tab under the WooCommerce settings. 
So it has a get starting button. We'll click on get started. And then I'm gonna click on Facebook page. Oh, we're gonna click next down the bottom. Now on the Facebook page, it asks you what page do you want this connection uh, on? And we want it on the International Security Driver Association. And we're gonna click next. I've already got a pixel and that's something I'm not going to cover in this video, but that's something that you definitely want to have so that Facebook can track uh, f visitors coming to your website. And I'm going to select Advanced Matching, and we'll click Next. And then it's going to say, what products do you want to add? And I'm going to say, Add Products to our Facebook Shop. I'm going to switch that on. And since I've already had this set up, it's saying that any existing products that we have will be uh, deleted and replaced with these new 14 products. And I'm fine with that, so I'll click Finish. Now it says you are ready to create ads on Facebook. Shops and products are usually reviewed within 24 hours. So I'll click Continue. And of course, Facebook being Facebook, it wants you to create an ad, which we will do at a later date, perhaps. So I'm going to close out of this. Let's go back over to our Facebook page. And we're going to click on Shop. As we can see here, more products are being filled in. Uh, they're all filled in. They're all processed. However, Facebook is still processing the shop itself. All the products have to be verified through Facebook before they can actually work and be public on your page. But for the sake of this video, uh, let's just see how it looks. Uh, let's click on when stuff happens. So all of this information is being picked up from the store, uh, the image and the title and the price and even the uh, variables that you put in your WooCommerce store for sizes. Uh, so if this was actually live, you'd select your uh, size and you click on checkout on website. It will take you right over to the cart on your WooCommerce store. And let's just go over there now. So from Facebook, you would come right to this type of setting where you're ready to check out. You've already added it to your cart and then you can go view cart and click on the, and go through the checkout process. So that's how simple it is to add your WooCommerce store to your Facebook page under the shop tab. One more thing I wanna show you before we end this video is to reorganize these tabs. So we'll go back into our settings, go back into edit page, and then, so here's all of our tabs that we have here, and they're in a certain order. And in order to change this order, we just click and drag. So we'll put shop right underneath the newsletter and it says it's been already been updated. There's nothing to save. If we go back to the page, we'll now see the shop under the newsletter. Pretty cool, right? Thanks so much for watching this video. So let me know what you think. Are you gonna install the Facebook for WooCommerce plugin and connect to your WooCommerce store to your Facebook page? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click subscribe and click the bell so you get notified immediately when a new video goes up on YouTube. If you want to know more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.